What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. Turning and if I don't, over looking for you. who knows? But it's been four hours since time has fractured. The sandwich was divine. I actually managed to fucking nail it. I nailed it. Perfect. Jack, perfect PB you got from Will's and Jay proportions. Fantastic. key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make you mean quick. to tell me you can't... Keep a look out for unwanted company. I don't know, man. If this is real life, which is somewhat grounded in reality, you know, you could get through this fucking window if you wanted to. Nice, Hmm. <laughs> ah, I hesitated. I hesitated like a stupid boy, like a silly boy. What was I thinking? them the same thing they convinced everybody else that what monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from from jack hey i think i found a way in I'm guessing your little video on the news helped with that no offense jesus i have no idea what happened Stick. Fracture. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. I need What? I mean, they could have picked anything. I wish I could mess with Tom. I have so many things I need to get done. Man, I talk about that at least once or twice a week. Either let me control Tom or make it to where I don't have to sleep. We can find some middle ground. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Um, that's a hamster, bro. First chrononaut. He named the hamster Scrodinger. That's awesome. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on the counter missiles complete. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce. I'm about to conduct the first test of the machine prototype. He must have hauled a lot more of this place than just some old boxes. He's gone. Where'd he go? You owned this place since 1999? Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Why didn't you tell me? Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. Okay, finally, what's that? No wonder Tom's all fucked up. There's the marijuana. Which will send him 
five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Shroy. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sedmak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victims wounded during the terrorist attack on Riverport University are being treated in the Monarch Solutions Medical Center. It all makes sense now. He did a marijuana, and now Tom's fractured. How's that make you feel? Why are you knocking on the door? Any luck in there? You know I'm coming. Working on it. Right. Uh, yes, two tickets, Take please. A look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010, Will. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was Wait. that? He recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need and he knows what's out. going on. Let's keep looking. I picture it as he's... He knows what's happening now in the future from 2010, and he knows we're going to be here. Help me push this out of the way. I need help moving this. I'm aware, Jesus Christ. I wonder if that's gonna be a common theme. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. But I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <laughs> I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Thank you. <sighs> Is that? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> Is it a hole? Yeah. Except there we go. Time machine. This changes everything. Damn. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um, explanation? Anybody? Uh, I saw some I... kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay. Good. Core controls. Where are they? 
You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? A time machine? He said the countermeasure was stolen. The machine is still here. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Warning, we're not activated. Here. I feel like we're just about to make things way worse. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We just go back to 2010. We'll Still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. Insert the date yet. Oh, God. Where do I activate the corridor at? Okay. <clears throat> There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. This will most certainly be a mistake. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. The key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's Amy, shut up, dude. Yeah. We're going to time travel, or you're going to deal with that. That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. What dates you gonna put in? No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
God damn. All right. Something tells me we're about to have an episode. The future used to be so clear when I was oh, reliving the past. Okay, Once never mind. Up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would Oh, end. I have to decide. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Yeah, see personal. Up into the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me... But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Well, damn. They don't make these choices easy, do they? Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. He disagrees. We'll see what the community picked. They all probably picked what I did. I've seen where this leads. 
I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Wow, it was damn near an even split. 53% of the community agreed with your choice. Here we go. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. We'll find him. Step away! Right now! I am this nice of them to do a recap. Even though we no. did just watch it. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Let's just say the production value of this, though, is very high. I'd be very interested in seeing how much was spent. on the on the live action part of this breathe Maybe, maybe not. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No, I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you.
You did not miss Kitty Tom. Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. You're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Crocker. Crocker! Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I might have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam! No. Told ya. Oh. Why am I losing you owe me so bad? I don't think I can drink Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually ate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> I wish I wasn't losing so bad. He's falling for it. For a yeah. Okay. All right, lady. So 
doing? <sighs> I'm taking mine too. Coffee, 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 coffee. Hey, hey, buddy. Cocker! Cocker! Burke! Cocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Don't let him take a shit. Make him shit on the floor. He's gonna he's Go gonna to beat your wall. ass. Fuck, thank you, man. He's gonna thank beat you your so ass. Much. Come on. Oh man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. You stupid idiot. Yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> so you don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Okay. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. This is how I affected hey, this, apparently. Are we? are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. That's what that little icon was, <laughs> that okay. ripple. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't have gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and then I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you worked a little too much. Yes. But I... Against it? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected you work all the time in fact you're there most of the time i'm there so oh, do you think you work too much maybe i don't know yeah i'm there i guess yeah i love work hold, hold right shit. there shit. Hey. you little fuck hey hey what? all you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab you turned on monarch what was i supposed to do you have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. You got her. Got him. still necessary yeah come on hurry up you're a very kind person right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. <laughs> I guess you guys can't do this. Special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What 
Where is that? The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change <laughs> things. Undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. Luke, it's a live action section. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from the few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I were 11 or 12 years old. When we found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the pass, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. <laughs> I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him, and yeah, that's him. He fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Jesus. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? We will refuse to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? ready to cooperate I'll be here Ooh. 
Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. OK, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LIPO protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. Yes, Luke, your gameplay just determines which live action sequences get played, I believe. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Sure. Don't, 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 Shooting up all the fucking lab equipment. I'm sure that I'm sure your boss will really appreciate that. Holy shit! Put one of those on. Damn. 